It's a USC Wednesday night on Mark Rogers TV, and we're talking spring ball with the Trojans just about halfway through the sessions here in March and April. We bring in a Nick Dempsey from Conquest Chronicles to give us the latest. Uh, Nick, it's it's been a little while. You've been on the basketball trail, but we're going to pull you back into uh, football. Yeah, it's 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 good to be home. Uh, I do want to say congratulations to the USC uh, basketball team. They made a, a heck of a tournament run. I, I don't think anyone expected them to get that far or certainly not compete that well with Baylor, but but good on them. Uh, but, you know, it's a football show. So uh, spring practice is going pretty well. The team just had last week off for spring break. A lot of guys took that opportunity to go home, see their families. Some guys had to use that opportunity to – uh, get healthy. Uh, Josh Imator Bebe had a stomach bug and lost, according to him, about 20 pounds because of that stomach bug. And so he had to spend his spring break getting better and eating food, basically. Um, so a lot of guys are back from that. Uh, the wide receiver position is actually really starting to heat up. Um, last year, there was uh, Sam Darnold really did a great job spreading the ball around, but uh, a lot of the top uh, talent is leaving, particularly Juju Smith-Schuster. So they're looking for a lot of guys to step up. Uh, Imator Bebe is one of them. He's He's been putting in the extra time uh, when he's not having dealing with stomach bug issues. Um, he said he's, he's ready to step up and be the main guy, but he needs to work on his nerves. Um, you also have... Uh, a redshirt freshman guy by the name of Tyler Vons. He's really come on strong as well. He's been uh, spending extra time, really putting in the work. Uh, they moved uh, Keyshawn Young, who's a DB, um, he, uh, moved him over to wide receiver permanently. He's focusing on that now. And then Jalen Green, who's played, uh, spent time at both quarterback and um, wide receiver is focusing primarily on the wide receiver position. And that's in, in addition to all the guys that are back from last year who uh, you really saw stepped, stepped up when the, when Sam Darnold started making this run. So uh, it's, they're looking for the new number one. Um, it's going to be a really, I think it might be the most interesting uh, positional battle this spring and, and in the fall camp for sure, because there's just so much talent we don't know who's running the show there. Um, the defense also is stepping up. They got to replace a Dory Jackson in particular at defensive back. And uh, they have a couple guys, uh, including a freshman uh, Jamal Cook, who uh, he's really been spending a lot of time at nickel. They found he is incredibly good at pass rushing off the edge. And he has... Um, he's starting to show pass coverage skills that would make him a good DB just in general, not even at the nickel slot. And this kid's a red shirt freshman. So um, it's going to be pretty interesting to see where cook comes. And then a lot of what they've been doing is they had that new running back coach come in. So they're getting everybody uh, on the, particularly on the running back side uh, comfortable with him. Uh, the defense in particular has really been putting an emphasis on creating turnovers, especially passes. Um, and so a huge part of that is getting into passing lanes. So the, the defensive backs are going to have to step up and be huge. And then the other part of that is getting pressure on the quarterback to force some bad passes. So um, I would expect USC, if things continue to progress, see a lot more turnovers and extra possessions for them, which could be huge uh, going forward. But um, the critical thing here is they got about four weeks left uh, of spring ball. They're going to go six days a week, three days of practices and three days of meetings. And now I know, you know, three days of meetings doesn't exactly sound sexy, but uh, with all of the, the hyper talented, these last couple of recruiting classes have been great. They got a lot of hyper talented, but young kids that need to figure out the program, how to play the college ball. And sometimes you got to just sit in meetings and, and understand the playbook and the system and go through those things. So there's going to be a lot of development that we're never going to sort of directly see that comes out of these next four weeks. Uh, but in terms of just getting guys up to speed and learning how to play and win uh, at U college football at USC, uh, you know, those those four weeks of meetings are actually going to be pretty huge. So uh, it's it's grinded out time after these four weeks. They'll take a, a little bit off for the summer, and then it's we're back to football already. 
Uh, so really exciting time for these guys. So Nick, after a long day of meetings, uh, I, I exactly <laughs> wanted to hear you talk about more meetings. So I, I start to cringe when you bring up the M word because I, I'm sure I've got more on, on tap for tomorrow, but yes, it is important that the, that the young guys get the concepts down. Mm -hmm. We, we know that they can run and run forever and, uh, the, the physical aspect will come more easily for some than for others, um, versus the mental aspect so yeah it's you know and again it's it's i'm sure their meetings are probably a lot more exciting than you than yours or mine uh i don't know maybe you watch game tape at your meetings who knows it's tough to say but i don't um so i you know and it's a lot of it's just not only learning it but mastering it so it becomes second nature so when it's you know a minute left in the rose bowl and somebody's got to step up and make an interception those sort of things become intuitive and again, it's, you know, it's not exciting, but this is where it starts. This is how you get those interceptions. This is how you beat an incredible team like Penn State in the Rose Bowl. And so, and these these guys are young. They're going to get there, but they got to put in the work. Uh, and sometimes that work, yes, does involve meetings. And I'm sure taking notes. And considering where I work, uh, if I brought that up, watching game tape, it wouldn't be completely laughable, but in the end, it just wouldn't fly. <laughs> just, just not really part of my um, job description. Uh, Nick Dempsey from Conquest Chronicles joins me each and every Wednesday night as we break down the USC Trojans. Actually, Nick breaks them down. I just sit and I'm just a captive audience. Uh, but once they start playing in the fall, I've got a little bit more to add when I watch <laughs> these guys play. So we give Nick all the boring analysis, and then I just watch the games with him, and uh, we, we both can chime in. So it's always a good time. Thanks a lot, Nick. Anytime, Mark.